questions for reflection. In his heartfelt letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul, as their spiritual father, is seeking to correct their behavior and help them to grow into Christian maturity. In the passage we heard at today's Holy Mass, he explains that the apostles have suffered greatly for the Lord. That's a badge of honor of sorts because it demonstrates that they participate in the sufferings of Christ for the sake of his body, the church. Let's be honest. Life is often difficult, painful, and filled with obstacles. Yes, even when you are praying, being as faithful as you can be, cooperating with grace, and really trying to believe in the Lord and all that he teaches through his church. Pain, failure, opposition, hardship, struggle, disappointment, all just seem to be a part of the program. The saints of old, such as St. Paul, grew so accustomed to difficulties, they even began to boast of them. The question we should ask ourselves when we face struggle, or difficulty, failure, dis disappointment, and the frequent pain of real life is how do we respond to the invitation they offer to us? Every difficulty, struggle, and experience of opposition or pain can become an invitation to exercise our freedom, informed by our faith, to truly believe in and embrace the loving plan of God. David reminds us in a responsorial psalm that the Lord is upright in all that he does and that he alone acts in faithful love. Do we really believe that? We can, we should. How many times after we've gone through a difficult time do we find ourselves looking back and having what might be called an aha moment? Now I understand if I had not gone through that struggle or pain or even apparent failure, I would not be who I am. We need to stay in prayer and ask the Lord, even in the midst of such struggle, for the grace to believe He is with us. In the Gospel of today's Holy Mass, taken from the sixth chapter of St. Luke, Jesus is accused by some of the religious leaders of the day of profaning the Sabbath because His disciples are feeding themselves. The removal of the husk from the corn is taken to be work by these particular religious leaders. And Jesus is manifesting his divine power, claiming, and rightly so, that he is Lord of the Sabbath. He's also trying to explain the right way to observe the Sabbath rest. This kind of outside-in emphasis on external practice over internal response is too often a sign that once living faith has devolved into external compliance. This can happen to anyone. It can happen to you and me.